This introduction shows how to use the fault isolation lessons. Every fault isolation lesson has the same introduction. The second part of the lesson is a fault isolation example. You will begin each example with a problem report. You will see the report here during the fault isolation examples. You will use these tools to find the cause of the problem and to identify the corrective action. The tools will be available during the fault this introduction the second you will see the rep you will use these tools to find the cause of the problem the tools will be available during the fault isolation example you can select a tool now to learn more about it, or you can use the forward arrow. You will copy information from the tools into one of the sections of a notebook. Here is an example. Select this mat data to add it to your notebook. You can also look at the data you put in other notebook sections. Look at the FIM data now. Select the FIM data section. All the collected FIM data is in the FIM section of the notebook. Remember, during the lesson you must copy data from the tools into your notebook in this way. Now you have enough data in your notebook to identify and correct this fault. Select Corrective Action. When there is enough data in your notebook to identify the procedure and correct the fault, select Corrective Action. Now select the Correct Maintenance Procedure. This procedure will not correct the fault. Look at the data in your notebook and make another selection. This procedure will not correct the fault. Look at the data in your notebook and make another selection. The notebook shows this corrective action. That is correct. After you identify the corrective action, you will see several different fault isolation paths. You should do the exercise again and isolate the fault in different ways. The flight crew reports an FMC advisory message. Select a tool to start the fault isolation. Select one of these fault is This is not the correct data. Make another selection. Select this data for your notebook. Notice the task number is a chapter 31 number, not chapter 34. Notice the maintenance message number is a chapter 31 number, not chapter 34. 
In this lesson, there is no task support data for this chapter. Make another selection. You do not have enough data in your notebook for a corrective action. Continue. You can select data for the notebook, another FIM section, or another fault isolation tool. You do not have enough data in your notebook for a corrective action. Continue. Notice the task number is a chapter 31 number, not chapter 34. Notice the fault code number is a chapter 34 number, not a chapter 31. You already have this data in your notebook. Make another selection. In this lesson, there is no task support data for this chapter. Make another selection. Notice the fault code number is a chapter 34 number, not a chapter 31. You can select data for the notebook another FIM section, or another fault isolation tool. This is not the correct data. Make another selection. You already have this data in your notebook. Make another selection. Notice the maintenance message number is a chapter 31 number, not chapter 34. Notice the maintenance message number is a chapter 31 number. You already have this data in your notebook. Make another selection. This is not the correct data. Make another selection. You already have this data in your notebook. Make another selection. You need more information from the flight crew to use this section. Make another selection. The problem is not a cabin fault. Make another selection. You can select data for the notebook, another FIM section, or another fault isolation tool. You do not have enough data in your notebook for a corrective action. Continue. This is not the correct data. Make another selection. Make one of these selections. You need more information from the flight crew to use this section. Make another selection. This selection is not available. Make another selection. There is no information in the ramp manual about this fault. Make another selection. You need to collect more data in your notebook before you can look at the components. You do not have enough data in your notebook for a corrective action. Continue. You can select information to learn more about the fault, or you can make another mat selection.
you can make a selection on the mat or use another fault isolation tool. You can make a selection on the mat or use another fault isolation tool. Do these two steps to select the menu item you need. Do these two steps to select the menu item you need. Continue. Select the procedure that corrects the fault. This procedure will not correct the fault. Check the information in your notebook and make another selection. This procedure will not correct the fault. Check the information in your notebook and make another selection. Alright, you used the fault isolation tools to identify the fault and the corrective action. When you have isolated and corrected the fault, make sure that the fault symptoms are no longer active. Use the FIM to return the airplane to operating condition. This fault has several fault isolation paths. Start the lesson again to try these other paths.